Hey guys, Hayden here for Ham Radio DX, and today I'm going to show you exactly how to set up your FT991 for use with WSJT and other digital modes. So yes, the FT991 or 991A, I've received my radio back from repair, so it's come back uh, with a factory reset. So I've had to go through and set up all of my settings again. So what we're going to do is have a look to see exactly how to set this radio up for use with WSJTX. So the first thing with the FT991 is that you can use a standard USB cable to connect to a computer and you can run all digital modes including the audio via this one cable. Uh, you'll see with my cable I actually have a, a toroid a iron core uh, there which I've wrapped a few turns of the USB cable through. Uh, the reason I've done this is I had some issues when the radio was transmitting that it would lock up the PC and the PC would stop responding uh, to uh, control or would stop uh, controlling the radio. So uh, adding uh, one of these in there just uh, stops uh, any uh, RF getting back down into the USB uh, cable. So that's a good tip to add to your USB cables uh, if you're having that issue. So as I said, one USB cable and all we've got to do is just plug that in and uh, we'll look at some of the settings that I've got in my radio. Now there's 153 menus in the FT991, but we only need to change a couple to get this to work with digital modes. It's very, very simple. So we'll have a look through and the ones that we need to uh, concentrate on is menu item number 31 first, which is the cat rate. This will be the computer talking to the radio, changing frequency and interfacing with WSJT. So when you change bands uh, on a particular mode, it will also change it on the radio. So that's currently set up as 4800 BPS. Uh, you can set this to other uh, values if you like, but I've just left it as 4800. The cat tot is 100 uh, milliseconds. Uh, if we scroll through a little bit further, you will get to some menus such as a data menu or a PC keying. I have mine set to off and uh, I don't, I just ignore the data uh, keying. The reason is, is that I use this radio on single sideband all the time. I don't use the dedicated data uh, single sideband mode in this radio uh, because if I want to operate this on, uh, for instance, uh, six meters and I want to change it down to the voice portion of the band really quickly I don't have to go and figure out what mode that I'm actually in so if we scroll down a little bit further we'll get to the single sideband menus now operating this radio with uh, in with a digital mode once you start keying the radio from the USB it automatically mutes the microphone so the microphone is muted and uh, no audio will come through there while the radio is keyed so the main thing that I've got here is SSB mic is still set up as mic, uh, which is of course the front microphone. Then uh, the SSB out level we don't have to worry about. The SSB PTT select is set up as RTS. Now that will correspond to the settings that we have in WSJTX, which I'll show uh, afterwards. Uh, SSB port select is set up as USB because we want to use that USB cable uh, that connects into the back of the radio. And that's basically it. Uh, only a couple of menu settings that we need to change to get this to work with digital modes. So what we'll do is we'll have a look at the WSJTX uh, setup and uh, show you uh, configure that for this particular radio. Okay, so here's WSJTX. Now, if we go File and Settings, you can also hit F2 to bring up this menu, and we go to our Radio tab. Now, uh, set the rig as the FT991. I've got my pole interval set as one second. The serial port is COM port 9. Now, this is the for the CAT control. Uh, if we go to our device manager in Windows, we can see that there is two COM ports that are created when you plug in the radio to the computer. COM port 9 is an enhanced port, which is we the one that we always use for CAT control and COM port 10 is a standard COM port which we'll use for keying, so I'll show you that uh, a bit later on. But the main key is that the enhanced port is the one to be used for CAT control. So I've got mine set up to COM port 9, set the board rate to 4800, which is the same as uh, what we set up in the menus of the radio. Data bits is set to 8, stop bits 2, handshake hardware. I'm not too sure uh, 
what the defaults are on these, but uh, I think I left these as the default and it just seems to work. Now PTT method I've got set up as RTS. So again, uh, in our radio, we set that up as uh, SSB PTT select as RTS. Uh, that is now operating on COM port 10, so that's our standard COM port. So uh, yeah, those two COM ports will be different, so just check that and uh, depending on what uh, your computer assigns, what COM port it assigns, you'll have to change these accordingly. Uh, the mode is USB, uh, we're not using the data or, uh, or packet mode, and split operation is set to none. Now if we test uh, the cat, we can click on this button and it should go green which indicates the connection to the radio uh, for cat control is correct. And we can click test PTT, which goes red and the radio uh, clicks in to transmit. The other settings that we want to look at are the audio settings. So on the audio tab, the input is set up as microphone USB to audio codec and the speakers are the output for also from the USB audio codec. So make sure that they're selected in here. I also have mine selected as mono, so yours may, uh, may be different. So just double check that they're set up correctly too. Now as for adjusting levels, the best thing that I find is to set this bar graph here in WSJTX as around about 30 dB when the noise on the band is uh, fairly low, which is set here under sounds here in windows and recording. Now we've got the microphone tab here. If we go to levels, my level is set fairly low at 16, but if we adjust this up and down, we can see that that bar slider moves up and down in the, uh, in the bottom left hand corner there of WSJTX. So set that to about 30 dB or so uh, when the band's fairly quiet, which it is here at the moment. If we click on the playback tab, our speakers, this is the audio coming out of the PC to the radio. So levels, my level is set fairly low at 20. Uh, so you'll have to set this according to uh, your output power to make sure that you're, you've got no ALC action happening. So uh, just adjust this accordingly uh, uh, for your output power. And uh, as you transmit and adjust uh, the power, you can use the you can use the tune button in WSJTX, but as you uh, as you output uh, output power, you can adjust this up and down to lower your ALC action and make sure that you're getting enough output power out of the FT991.